Welcome everybody. Hey, happy holidays. Hope you're enjoying your amazing time here, celebration of this time of the season as 2021 is coming to a close and we've been celebrating whatever we're all celebrating, whether it's Christmas or whatever you're celebrating at the, this time of year, the solstice, etc. And that we're getting ready for the new year. And I'm just so grateful uh, for us to be here now, uh, right here in the right, right now, in this time, in this space and dimension, to be able to have the, the joy, the pleasure to be here, to allow ourselves to really land with the blessings that have been here now and always. And so t today what we're going to do is we're going to release, we're going to release layers of stress, trauma, anxiety from this year, uh, embrace the blessings of this year, allow all of it to be a blessing, ultimately all of it to energetically connect us with the depth of what's really here. What we're really here to embrace and to say yes to that takes us deeper and allows us to really feel anchored energetically in the blessings of this year and allows us to embrace what's wanting to unfold in the new year and allowing ourselves to download all of that not only for ourselves individually but also collectively because if you're here you are one of those world-changing sorts of light leaders, aren't you? You're here to make a great difference in the world. And we want to bring in, harvest the love and the joy that eternally lives within us, that we are those beacons of light in the world, and allow that light to deepen within ourselves and to allow that light to shine and be shared in the world in an expanded way into the new year, allowing the, the sense of effortlessness and joy and flow to circulate for all of us. Even when there's ripples in the water that seem like chaos and fear, that we're still allowing ourselves to be those light keepers, those light leaders that understand a deeper truth and that we're supporting that deeper truth going into the new year. And that that sows blessings for the collective and for us individually and for everything, and mostly for everything, right? For everything, so for the planet, for the cosmos, everything, whatever you wanna talk about. So I have no idea um, exactly how long the process, the meditation will be today, other than to give you a, a, a ballpark of 30 to 45 minutes or so, something along those lines is what's been coming up. So I'm grateful for that in advance. Uh, through this meditation we're going to do today, if you want to, if you want to take notes, I, I love taking notes during meditations uh, like this at least, because um, we will download what's wanting to unfold. But a lot of it is energetic, what we're downloading, and then there's the things that you're mentally getting, you know, get a mental clarity or something. You want to write that down. That's absolutely fine. Feel free to do that. But primarily, I want you to experience the energy. The energy is what's key in allowing the energy to shift. So there can be a vibrant new year. This isn't just for like purpose and business and money, but this is for your entire being, really. Um, and that, so that would include also other areas of life, uh, not just, you know, the, the allness of you are, but also specifically health and relationships, all this stuff and all the aspects of our life. And it's all interconnected in one. So we're allowing ourselves to experience a deep sense of wholeness and healing and wellness through this process today. Allows us to really, really land today allows us to catapult our energy from a grounded place yet going into the new year. 
So I'm grateful, and I'm grateful that um, I list, I've just been listening to you and hearing so many of you saying, hey, I'm just chilling out for the rest of the year. I just want to go deeper within, and I, was, I just said, well, and I've done these before. It's like, okay, let's do a meditation then to support that for those that would like that. So here we are today. Thank you, God, and so it is. Okay, great. So um, there will be things like energy transmissions, attunements, and um, perhaps prayers, perhaps channeled messages that'll come through the meditation itself even. And um, I'm grateful to see what wants to unfold. Okay. So glad to see you all here, seeing everybody coming in. Uh, thank you for being here today. You're also amazing and beautiful and uh, awesome. And uh, just uh, looking forward to taking these next steps with you now. I realize this is, again, for us collectively to connect with what's really going on in the world in its depth. So it's really for the collective as much as it is for our own individual life. And so I just want to make that clear in the intention of what we're unfolding today. It's not just for you, but it's for the, the collective highest good for for everything, for humanity, the planet, and, and, and more. So, okay. All right, so if you're ready, uh, and again, if you like to, would like to take notes during this meditation, feel free to get uh, pencil and paper or what have you together. Uh, that's wonderful. And, um, and I'm uh, grateful to have you do that. I will say this before we get started as well, because um, it will come later in the, in the broadcast. So I just want to let you know now that I will invite uh, you, if you feel called at the end of this time together, to connect with me further. I'll be giving you an opportunity just to, to reach out to me, you know, to have a maybe have a meeting with me um, for me to tune in so I can channel for you individually a little bit and help you to land with what's wanting to unfold a new year and refine your clarity. So just know that that may be coming up. Uh, we'll probably offer that later in the uh, broadcast. Okay, everybody. So let's go ahead and um, get started then. So if you just join me, take that nice deep breath in. In through your nose, up through your crown truck, up through a higher self, up to love light source, energy up into the all in all. And as you exhale through your mouth, let this energy come back down through your higher self, down through your crown chakra, down through all your chakras, through your body, through your field, down through your feet, down through your root chakra, down to the core of the earth. So I speak these words and the I am for everyone in the listening in my voice. So I recognize God, love, life, source, spirit is all there is. I'm grateful that life is the effervescence of the spark of the divine that lives within all life and all times and all dimensions. I'm grateful to find myself exactly where I sit today, that I am whole and well, that the crystalline energy that is landing within me through my root chakra and into the earth, it's unfolding not just for me, but for so much more, so much of the energy that wants to come into the planet right now through the the multiverse, the multi-dimensions from all, all, all dimensions is landing through me and through the collective. And I'm feeling that crystalline energy flowing through my root chakra into the core of the earth now. I'm connected in one with all nature, with Mother Earth. A loving, life-giving energy. It pulses through all life here on this planet that gives life to all, experiencing that sweet givingness. As you might imagine, the amazing oceans, the mountains, the rolling hills, Mother Earth herself and her energy Springing all forms of variety of life and embracing that life, embracing being here right in this space and time, right now in 2021, knowing you're safe, whole, and well, that the higher, greater good is landing here for you and the planet right now. Higher 
higher dimensional energy is coming in through you naturally and abundantly as you simply are open to receiving, allowing you to attune to a higher nature within every cell fiber molecule of your body and your being and for the collective of humanity. As you're allowing this energy now to flow through your root chakra into the earth, recognize any disparate energies that have been experienced in 2021 are being resolved right now. And that these, these energies are energies that have crept up in the past, that have just bubbled to the surface this year, and we're allowing them to be resolved now, not only for you, but for the collective. That this collective sense of unease, as humanity awakens to its deeper nature and its greater wholeness and wellness and interconnectedness with all, all life everywhere, here and beyond, the energy is landing through us and we are gently yet completely removing and releasing that which is no longer needed or desired in our energy fields for the collective. For we know that we're one and co connected with all, especially as, as empaths. We know there's many things we've held on to this year at times. We're releasing it all, giving thanks for what's come forth. Any sense of disparateness, fear, lack, whatever, however it's shown up, that we give thanks. We allow, we know that we can release it. Know that we're, that crystalline energy is grounding and landing. Mother Earth is here supporting and loving us as we're connected infinitely with so much more, the source energy itself, and so much energy, cosmic energy that's so delicious and magnificent, flowing through our energies, flowing through our entire being, through our chakras, through our aura, through everything, and into the earth, individually and collectively, releasing the, any karma, drama that's unfolded this year, realizing there's a settling into the earth plane from the higher dimensions that is deepening now for all. That there's a deeper nurturing and awakening happening for all right now. Recognize your oneness with the earth and the multidimensional nature of who you are and the higher nature of who you are all at once and with all life. Releasing old conditioning, people pleasing, fitting in, trying to fit in to fearful patterns of conformity, simply out of conditioning, simply out of going with the crowd, no longer serving me or anyone, allowing myself to be that unique expression of the, the wholeness and of the divine that I am to blossom and take root right now. And it's, it's next level in my awareness and my energy. I'm ready to blossom and share my sweet fragrance with the world in a, even a greater way, energetically, and on all levels that are wanting to unfold going into the new year. Only that blossom lives within all life already, and I'm simply connecting with it. I'm simply giving awareness to it. The blossom of beauty, strength, wholeness, and wellness in all life is already here. It's never left. It's never been touched. 
So I'm recognizing and deepening that awareness for me, for all life everywhere, including humanity, allowing the sense of the, the clen cleanse to unfold for all, and that this blossom is taking place. It's the sense of the old dark murkiness continues to release fully, wholly, and completely. And only again points into the deeper strength, connection, with the crystalline energy landing on the, into the earth now through my root chakra and through every fiber of my being. I'm landing here on the earth plane fully. I am safe to be here and I'm here to enjoy my life. I'm here to enjoy the vibrant life and the channel of source that I am from the higher dimensional levels grounding with the earth. So I give thanks in my heart for all that's here now. As I imagine and reflect on this year, I feel in my heart, I, I acknowledge in my heart that which I have experienced this year. I, write, I can write down things if I want to, or just imagine all the things that are coming to me about what I've experienced in my life this year. Give thanks for it. Imagine what's happened with my health. Giving thanks, taking a moment to take, give thanks for that. Whether it seems that it was ill or for, for, the, for the better, I give thanks for all of it in my heart now. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thought of others come into your mind about their health, give thanks for that as well. Knowing you're interconnected with everything. Give thanks for, for all these things and so much more. Give thanks for all those that have supported you this year in all the ways, whether it's been your health or in, uh, in your business or whatever, all areas of your life. Imagine those beings down. Give thanks for, the, for those blessings you've experienced this year from those that have been supporting you this year. Remember your your support from your light team and 
the earth team and all these beings just giving enormous thanks, realizing your blessings are far greater than what your mind has conceived of up until now. That's even far greater than you've ever imagined. Knowing that in this time right now, that it even feels like it's just a small fraction of all the blessings and all the support that you have received this year. You're grateful, so grateful for it. So you give thanks for that support. You give thanks for the relationships in your life. You give thanks for all the relationships in your life and how they've served you, whether they seem like they've been for ill or for good. You give thanks for all the relationships in your life. Be sure to give thanks to those things that have challenged you the most in your relationships. Make sure you, you t take time to thanks, give thanks for those as well. Giving thanks for the love that you are, the thanks that love, the love of all life, everything pointing you into the love that you are. Give thanks for everything. Give thanks for your blessings also in the area of career and business, anything that comes to you, race it in your heart. Give thanks for all that's unfolded this year. Those things that have gone well, those things that didn't seem to go so well, count your blessings. What do you have to give thanks for in your business, your career this year?
all the great things that have unfolded, the love that's been circulated, the gifts that have been circulated this year in your business or career. On that which has unfolded this year is helping you to spring into the new year, just acknowledging that. Giving thanks for everything coming forth, feeling this amazing energy. Feels good. Allow this sense of this pink light to flow through your energy from your crown chakra into your energies, your energetic body, your physical body, down through your lower chakras, down into through your root chakra, down into to the earth. This beautiful pink light, knowing you're safe, loved. And well, safe, loved, and well, filled with joy at your core. Whether you see the light brightly and brilliantly or faintly, that simply putting your focus and attention on this energy is deepening you. Now give thanks for the financial abundance of 2021. Again, even those things that seemed very, very challenging financially, perhaps, or the things that were so abundant, all of it, give thanks for it. Feel that love and joy for it all in your heart. The joy of giving, the joy of receiving money. All of it, the giving and the receiving. Feel that relationship with money in your life. Allow it to be as whole and well as your relationship with the flowers that bloom from the ground. Feel that wholeness and wellness with, with money.
Thanks for everything coming forth, all that love you feel for all the circulation of finances and money in your life. How you've been spiritually nurtured and fed all year long. Just give thanks for that. The enormous blessing of that. Take a moment. Recognize that no matter what's unfolding, there's great love circulating within all life at all times. As you become aware of it, you deepen in it and experience its, its joy. Knowing you are free in your heart always to come back to love. Realize you all is nurturing you on your spiritual path, providing you incredible empowerment and blessings to experience and to share in this world and more. <sighs> Let all that wants to be fully released now, completely in 2021, to be released and give thanks, praise, Source, praise, life I'm, itself. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so grateful for 2021. It's the most amazing year ever. The most amazing year ever to experience more of the richness of who I am. And if I can allow myself to simply experience some fraction of that gratitude and love now, that I can allow myself to be catapulted to an ever greater level of fulfillment going into 2022. And I'm ready for it now, like a boomerang. Being boomeranged into 2022 with a sense of ease and flow and joy. And that, that now you're ready for that. Now you're ready for that because you've claimed the blessing, the infinite blessings that are here now and always. Yes, of course. Let the, those flames of transmutation, yes. <laughs> I'm hearing that just flames of transportation is purifying and clarifying everything, allowing ourselves to be free in the light, allowing our hearts to lead into the new year. Individually and collectively, we're moving forward together. We're ready for this at a collective and individual level, not only within the sphere of this group, but beyond. There's a sense of yes, we're ready for the next next steps, the next stage, the next evolution, the next unfoldment. And we're ready now. Yes, I authorize it. I sign off on I authorize the next unfoldment. And I'm no longer in resistance to what is truly wanting to unfold. Thank you, God. Thank you, Source. Thank you all. You're catapulting yourself into the new year. It is a joyful hymn. Uh, it's a joyful hymn, a joyful, triumphant year. You're envisioning a joyful, a triumphant year, downloading from the higher dimensions through your crown chakra into your heart as it grounds and lands into the earth through that crystalline energy. And so you're opening up the, you're, as you close the book, on, you're closing that book on 2021, you're opening the book now. 
as we go, or which we're beginning to go into 2022 fully and completely, allowing ourselves to envision the joyful, the joyfulness of the new year from the heart, knowing that you have the energy moving you forward into into greater expression of love and embrace and gratitude for everything unfolding going into the new year. So allow yourself to feel that. Know that you're infinitely supported, that you're not alone, that there's a collective unfoldment going into 2022. That's natural, naturally occurring from the higher dimensions and therefore in the interconnections with all life and humanity and more. Feel that strength, that love, you have, that's the wind beneath your wings is everywhere, comes from everywhere, from the allness. Feel that strength, knowing you're not alone. You're always carried by this wind. Just sense and feel that. Know that it's already, you, you're experiencing that energy and now you can allow yourself to experience what's wanting to unfold into the new year. Allow yourself to experience the the, the vitality of the new year, the sense of health and wellness that you want to experience. It wants to happen through you. Imagine that health and vitality wanting to happen through you, how that feels, how that feels. Feel that health and vitality going into the new year. Imagine what that means in terms of just the quality of being that you're, you're experiencing and saying yes to. What qualities, the qualities of love, of joy, of vital energy, what is it? What are the qualities, if you were to put words to it? It's the quality of being. Perhaps notice the one quality that gets your attention the most, the one quality or the one word that gets your attention the most going into the new year. What is that quality to embrace in your heart going into the new year? Coming from this quality of being, how will your life be authored into the new year? Not so much from you, but from that energy moving through you and for you. How it will, will it author your life in the area of health? What are you to embrace in the area of health for your highest? in 2021 for the health of you first and foremost and the health of everything in your life the planet everything everything you can imagine just coming from a state of wellness and health for yourself and for all what are you embracing what are you saying yes to i'll give you a moment or two
Give thanks for what's coming through for you. You can utilize these things to create your vision boards or whatever you want to do with this, these, this information and this energy. Allow yourself to just be aware of it for now. Give thanks and gratitude for it in advance that you're so grateful for the opportunity to trust and listen with your heart with what's really true, what really feels like wants, wants to unfold for you and for the highest good of all. And extend that into your relationships now. What's the highest state of wellness and, 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 and unfoldment for the wholeness of who you are in relationship with everything, with source, with each other? with the planet and the quality of relationships in your life, what's the quality that you want to embrace the most? What are you to cultivate as the quality in your relationships? From this quality, how do your relationships want to be nurtured? How do they want to be nurtured? What relationships want to be nurtured? How do they want to be nurtured? How do your relationships want to be nurtured? Consider, of course, your own relationship with yourself. How are you nurturing your own relationship with yourself?
recognize any opportunities that are maybe there going into the new year to continue to nurture yourself through all your relationships and whatever's happening in your life, that it's all ultimately a relationship with yourself. That you're willing to embrace all aspects of yourself by embracing all life, however it may show up, whether it be fear, uh, incredible joy and love, whatever it may be, that you're ready to embrace all of it. Going into 2022, you're resolved to it, you're committed to it, you're intending and knowing it now. No matter what unfolds, I'm nurturing and loving myself, knowing I'm loving all as I love myself. Thank you. From that space, I allow myself to envision and sense and feel what wants to unfold in the area of business and career. Allow myself that the, the, the eternal nature of me, of who I am, what I'm meant to be embracing, the quality of energy I'm embracing in the new year and my business and career. What is that, what are, is that quality or qualities I'm embracing? From that energy, what wants to be embraced in the new year for your career and business? What wants to be embraced? For those of you that, that are wanting to nurture your business, what are those areas of your business that need the most uh, nurturance in the new year? What are the areas of your business that need the most nurturance? What are you to embrace? Go deeper. Whatever's coming forth, let it be enough. Knowing it's absolutely helping you to rock it in your business in the new year. As you give thanks for that, come up with the top 
top three next steps in your business. Uh, for those of you in business, which is most of you, all the next three st top next steps you need to take in your business to come crystal clear to you now. So you give thanks for that. Allow yourself now to envision just what naturally comes through your heart. The relationship you want to have with money. What's the relationship you want to have with money in the new year? What's the quality of the energy, the relationship you want to have with money in the new year? From that place then allow yourself to recognize the attention to what details you need to focus on in the area of money in the new year or the attention to details in the area of money for the new year from this quality of energy. What are the details to be embraced around money? Is it making more sales? Is it um, Getting into your, tracking your, your money more? Is it around letting it go more? What are the attention to the details and specifics? Like, is it having more high end clients? What, it, what are the details to embrace? How will you enjoy money in the new year? How will how specifically will you utilize the energy of money in the new year? Therefore, how will you enjoy it? How are you going to enjoy the circulation of, of money in your life in the new year? Is it taking new, a new trip? Is it investing in something new? What What are all the ways you will be enjoying money in the new year?
recognizing all is being fulfilled through those qualities you identified earlier. Whatever those qualities that you're embracing, you allow those qualities to be what fulfills everything. As you focus upon the details that you're being called to focus on in your money, in your business, in, in every aspect of your life, every aspect, relationships, health. Now recognize what you're cultivating in the new year spiritually. What are you saying yes to? What are you embracing? How are you nurturing your spiritual path in the new year? How are you, how are you nurturing yourself spiritually, therefore on every level uh, in the new year? Give thanks for what's coming forth, knowing as you're embracing all these things and so much more. As nurturing, again, not only you, but it's nurturing everything. It's nurturing everything. To, and it's allowing everything to thrive going into the new year. For you, for all those that you're here touching in, in the entire world, that you're a, a, an amazing blessing to yourself and the world. Because you're saying yes to love. You're saying yes to the qualities you're here to embrace in the new year. You're here to say yes to the specifics that are coming through for you to address and to give attention to on your spiritual path. And allowing all the areas of your life to thrive as a result. By saying yes to it, you're allowing more freedom or goodness in your own life and the lives of others. And no matter what seems to be showing up along the way, you can say you can love it, you can accept it, you can embrace it, you allow more good to come into your life as a result. So whatever shows up in the new year, you say, yes, more good is coming to my life because this is showing up, whether it seems ill or well. More good is coming into my life as a result of whatever is showing up in my life, and it's already happening and it's already done, and I say yes to that now. I give thanks for these blessings in my life now in advance, knowing they're full and deep and amazing. And I'm grateful to be moving forward together, knowing I'm not alone, but that there's an entire group of souls here and beyond that are saying yes to this together with me. That we are we're here, we have each other's backs energetically, and that we know that we're we're infinitely connected to them what wants to unfold going into the new year, that we're already celebrating it in advance for uh, humanity, for the planet, and more. And so grateful for the blessings that are being received today in my heart, in my energy, allow myself to be attuned to the higher and greater good that's here for me now. And the crystalline energy is landing here, a higher frequency of, of who I am and who we all are is landing into 2022. And that we're grateful to enjoy it, enjoy the feast of life itself that's giving to me to enjoy, to move in the light in life. And to know that although there may be seems to be things that go bump in the night, that it's, that it's meant to be. I'm meant to be the motion in the ocean and stop apologizing for existing and allow myself to live the full vibrant life that's here for me. And that I'm saying yes to it, knowing that the more little bumps there are in the night sometimes, that, that is what's activating more energy and more goodness as I allow myself to come from the center of the, the loving heart that I am, knowing that as I allow myself to be of the intention of loving more and to being of greater, uh, greater, greater uh, loving impact in the world, I know it makes a huge difference seeing every single being on the planet 
every human on the planet is a, a child of God, a child of the divine that I'm here to nurture and to love unconditionally. And as I do so, I know I thrive. As I love and nurture all life on the planet, the animal life, the plant life, all mineral life, the rock life, all life on the planet, every the oceans, whatever, what, you name it, all of it. As I love and embrace all of it, leave no, nothing behind, allow it all, all to be here now. I love all of it. I love it all. You know, I know there's so much at the same time pouring into the earth that I'm saying yes to. You know, it's landing as fear and, and confusion and doubts and, and, and stories continue to show up in the world. I say, hey, I love I love life. I love all these incredible stories and what's unfolding. And I'm grateful for the highest and greatest good unfolding for all. And I stay intent in my heart on that for my individual and the collective unfoldment of the highest good for all. And let it be well. So let it be well. I'm grateful. Uh, for the support of the angels and guides here with me now, Archangel Michael saying you're safe, you're well, you can you can be decisive and clear. It's okay to to bring your your force, your energy into the world. Trust yourself, trust yourself, Master Jesus. Come back to the Sacred Heart. Remember who you truly are. Awaken to the greater good that you're here to to love all. You're here to nurture and attend to each other and to receive incredible loving nurturance for yourself always now. Allow myself to be to be heard, to allow myself to be heard. Thank you. Thank you. Mother Mary, be gentle with yourself. Love yourself. Go out and play. Do your thing. Do your thing, like do your thing. Share your light with the world. You're held in the bosom, uh, the womb of all creation. You're held within that. You're safe and whole to express yourself. You're loved unconditionally. Thank you. Mary Magdalene saying, Women, rise up together in the, 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 the prosperity and opulence that you're here to receive. Men, rise up into the, 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 the divine power that's within you to, to lead the way. Your masculine uh, power as well, all of you. All of you on all of it. <laughs> Allow yourself to experience the divine mystery of life and all its prosperity and, and, and joy that wants to give to you. Let it become a fact in your life. Let heaven and earth be as as one as they already are. Thank you. We allow all this good to be here now and always. We allow ourselves to open the books as we're moving into a, a blessed 2022 as we've allowed ourselves to give so much thanks for 2021 and how that's uh, unfolding the greatest good for us for the rest of this year and into the new year. We give thanks for it all. Let it ground and land and be whole and well within me and for the highest good of all, knowing that the the eagles, the hawks, the angels are all watching over me and all of us, knowing I'm interconnected with all of that. So I am part of that high watch and that I know all is well. I see the good that's unfolding and I trust it. And I let it unfold in my life and the life of the collective. So I let it be so, I let it be done. Thank you, God, and so it is. All right. Okay, everybody. Feel free to come back as you can. Uh, starting to open your eyes, moving around, coming back into the room. And yeah, just allowing yourself, hopefully you have a little time to integrate, you know, uh, after this, uh, this time together with everything, just let it soak in, make sure you have some downtime today and through the rest of the year, hopefully, and allow yourself to really let this energy land. And I'm just so grateful for all of you and thank you, uh, Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Margaret. Thank you, Melanie, Angie, Brian, everybody. 
Um, thank you for your comments, all everybody as well. And yes, um, from here, I just invite you, if you feel like you're up to big things going into the new year with what came through and you want to meet with me uh, for a chat, for me to tune into you, do some energy scanning for you, um, I'm happy to offer that to you um, with the integrity that you're, you know, that you want to massively receive and massively uh, give yourself to whatever, you know, you're here to give yourself to into the new year. Feel free. I'm absolutely happy to meet with you. So I'll go ahead and uh, put in the link as soon as I figure out how to do that here. I'll put it, pop it in there in a moment. I just uh, need to wrap it up here. It's gone a bit longer. <laughs> Not too surprisingly, because when I get into this stuff, it could go longer and, and deeper. But I'm just so grateful for all of you. Lots of love and blessings to you all. And look forward to being with you real soon again. Uh, I think we're, I'll see you probably, what, Monday at 3 p.m. Central again next. So uh, next week. Okay. Lots of love and blessings to you all. Goodbye for now.